two years ago, I suffered my worst biking injury. Let's go. Except that it wasn't a physical injury, it was more mental and psychological. I was so shaken and it actually left me questioning mountain biking. Why? Why was I being such an idiot, taking such risks that could result in a financial blow that would impact the quality of life for my family. And so I made some changes and perhaps the biggest change that I've made in the last two years has been the decision to intentionally ride alone. As much fun as it is to ride with others, riding solo makes it easy for me to be selective of when I ride, what trails I ride, and how hard I ride. There were those days where I simply wanted to ride, where the goal wasn't to make it home alive. Enter gravel. My brother visited from out of state and as we were driving around town, he happened to point out all of the nearby roads, back roads, bike lanes, and more importantly, the scenery. And so I figured I'd try it at a very low risk and low cost with this $250 Walmart bike. And now I'm gonna specialize crux. These two disciplines are polar opposites. And it's great, it's exactly what I was looking for. I get to pedal straight out of my garage, right across town. It is around 5.15 a.m. And today's, uh, or this morning's planned route is 50, 51 miles. And back up on my garage, in the most relaxed and yet adventurous state of mind. And then when the thrill of the hunt kicks in, Hop on that mountain bike, cautiously push. Let's go. I hit it. Nice! Yeah. <laughs> I hit it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then I'm good. I'm satisfied and I'm ready for the next ride. Whichever that may be. I think it's important to say and state the fact that no one bike is better than the other. All bikes are cool. For me, at this moment in time, mountain biking and gravel are just the perfect combo for me. And that's because these two bikes are enabling me to ride more, more than I've ever had. It's not 
gravel versus mountain biking. It's not mountain biking versus road, gravel versus road, e-bike versus analog. It doesn't matter. Whatever two bikes, whatever one bike is going to get you pedaling, that's the bike. That's the right bike. And so that's where I'm at. I really do hope that you found this video useful. And if you did, hit that like button. If you're still watching, consider subscribing. Until next time, ride your own ride and God bless.